nice to be first because well, everything you say is fresh, I guess, when you're the first person to speak. I, I thank you for being here tonight. I thank LULAC for having this forum so that we can hear from all the candidates. I really enjoyed learning about the school board candidates and about the mayor candidates and, and everyone else as well. So I, w I listened as well as participated. I repeat that I love Colleen. I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere like most of you. And I want to serve our community. I want to continue for two more years. If you can see your way to elect me to city council, I would appreciate it. I think we have to have women on our city council. This I have to throw that in because I'm the only woman on the city council. The school board does have more women and that's a great thing, but we do need more women and Doris and I will tell you that. Um, I, if, if you are sitting out there and you're interested in running, be, be a part of that next time. Our, our city needs you and I, I hope that I can continue to serve you. I've tried very hard to listen to the people. Everyone who calls me gets an answer and I do try to follow up with what they ask. And I will continue to do that as long as I can in, in the city of Colleen. So go to the polls and vote early starting April 28th and the election is May 10th. And I, I hope you'll circle my name on the ballot. Uh, well, once more, my name is Jared Foster. Uh, I currently serve you as an incumbent on the Colleen City Council. I serve at large. Um, I'd like to thank Lula Council 4297 for having us, and thank you for all of us. <coughs> Thanks to all of you for listening to us uh, for what seems like several hours at this point. Uh, again, the things that I care about are economic diversity, community image, uh, responsible budgeting, um, and the one I didn't mention earlier was in downtown Killeen. Um, I really support the revitalization of it. I feel like um, it's the turn of the key to reinvesting in our northern side and in the infrastructure and in the people that we have. Hi, I'm back again. <laughs> Feel a little better now. Yeah, I feel like I could talk again for a long time. But nevertheless, I know it's time to go. But I just want you to know that I am Doris Mims Owens, and I am asking for your vote. And early vote is April 28th through May 6th, and election day is May 10th. And I want you to know that you can read more about me and my bio uh, under dorisowens.net, 63.net. And as well as on the Colleen Data Herald, you will see my bio and hear some of the issues that I'm going to be discussing. And I'd like for you to know that when I did the video with Colleen Data Herald, I talked about homeless, homelessness and I talked yes. about the water and I also talked about recycling. But little did I know that a week later, the council we're going to already pass two of those issues, and that's a good thing. But we still know that water is going to always be an issue, and we know that homelessness is going to always be an issue, and those things we will still have to address. And we also know that recycling is still an issue. They haven't really came up with anything major on that yet. And I believe that we need to have a master plan to let the citizen have an input on the recycling. I think they need to have a say so and not to come to a council meeting on one given night and say, you're gonna pay $50 for a 96 gallon can. Well, you might not need to use 96 gallon can. I believe in letting the citizens to have an input on what we're going to discuss, and let us come up with a common solution and meet common ground. Because after all, as your council member, I'm going to represent you. I'm going to do the things that I think that you would want me to do and try to voice it to my other members to see that we can work things out and, and work with the mayor and come up with what we need to do for the citizens of this great community. And again, I would like you to go to my personal website, darisowens.net. 63.net and you can see more about my bio, you can see about my grandchildren, my great grandchildren, my professional four daughters that I have. And thank you so much for listening to me and I need your vote and I would appreciate it. Okay, uh, once again, <laughs> thank you Lulac for inviting me out here to discuss and exchange ideas with all of the candidates. I appreciate that very much. Okra is okay for the city council. <laughs> I am more concerned about, uh, we're looking at this economy, um, I'm more about, uh, concerned about getting money back into your pocket. You have a household. Well, anything that we talk about up here about buying, guess what? On the good name and the credit of this city, and you make up the city, uh, that's, how, that's how we operate. We're getting grants, we get federal funding, anything but particularly as belong. So I'm always, I'm always looking out for you. I always ask the questions. I ask questions all the time. I have not missed one single meeting in two, two years. I'm always there, meeting or, or workshop. 
Amen. And I'm always there. I, I study to question. I study to answer you. Anybody's called me. People call me and say, Mr. Is my speaker Ms. Oprah speaking? Oh, you, you answer your own phone? Yes, I do. <laughs> if you pick up one of those cards, you will have my number. I'm also on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Hit me up right there. And I will get back with you. I will talk to you. I'm not scared to talk to you. And if I don't know, I will, I will tell you I don't know, but I will find the answer for you. Yes. So I'm in your corner. Yes, we are counsel, but I'm on y'all side. And I represent you. Thank you. I'd like to thank Lulag for having us all out here tonight. We could share our opinions and our thought process. Opportunity to see the other candidates running for mayor, uh, school board. Nice to um, have an opportunity to listen to them. Um, again, my name is Bubba Purser, running for city council at large. Appreciate a vote. Uh, my family came here back in the 40s. Father is a carpenter. My grandfather is a carpenter. Uh, I started as a carpenter. Uh, my family has worked here uh, since Camp Hood started, <clears throat> and we have invested here, we've worked, and, and a lot of knowledge through the 40, 50 years of work. And um, I'd, I'd have the opportunity to serve. If I do, I'll bring a lot of knowledge to the table. And any of us that serve, whether it's me or one of these other six or seven candidates, uh, we do work for y'all. We work for the city, uh, the best interest of the city, and uh, take care of city business. And I appreciate your support. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank Lulag too. I mean, it's an absolute honor to be invited out here. Um, before I forget, go to voteforrandy.com and you can find out a whole lot more. I didn't bring my 56 slides. Uh, my presentation about what my philosophies are. But, you know, the, the, the things that are important to me. Um, is you know I want to be part of the solution and, and like I said I've got a lot of a lot of issues that I know about a lot of issues I don't know about this is my little fact-finding book um, I made it my point to go and interview appropriate stakeholders and, and, and the citizens are the number one stakeholder and I interview them as often as I can but I've, I've interviewed the city manager the police chief the fire chief the city planner I've got a couple other folks on my agenda to um, to interview to find out what their their issues are, and and I'm already coming up with some common denominators, and and and, and one of them, my son is a police officer, not in the city of Clean, so public safety is near and dear to my heart. And what I found with interviewing the police chief and the fire chief is that our officers and our firefighters are not comparably paid um, like some of the other surrounding communities, and our community is growing so fast, and our pay and benefits packages are not keeping up that we're losing qualified expert can, um, police officers and firefighters to other cities. So that's one of my priorities to, is to come forward and look at that and make sure we're taking care of our public servants um, so that we can keep them here, that we can recruit people from other places uh, because right now we have a lot of vacancies and to get a police officer on the ground takes almost 18 months from the time mm -hmm. we put the, the, the announcement out to get them out there enforcing. So we need to do that. Uh, entertainment venues, we're lacking them big time. Yeah. I'm an avid racer and an avid race fan. Uh, when the when the uh, racetrack closed, it broke my heart. I've got to drive to Page, Texas now, or to Waco, Texas. The drive alone is worse than me getting on the track doing 90 miles an hour through a corner. Um, it's worse. Efficiencies, recycling, please go look at what I talk about recycling. I'm an expert in that area. Um, and bringing industry into the area. we got to do something better than the people that are already going to come here, like the Walmarts. They're going to come here anyway. Thank you. I think Randy have my notes. I tried, he was looking at my notes. I tried getting Bubba to hold my cards for me. He wouldn't do it. <laughs> First of all, let me say thank you to Lula, but especially to you all for staying around and listening to us. One thing that I'm concerned and always been concerned, if you know me, is quality of life. Well, from public safety all the way down to the water department. One thing that Randy says that I'm going to echo him and I was holding this to last, but he just beat me up to it, <laughs> is the rating on public safety. Mm -hmm. Our rating has been going up instead of going down. That's one thing for sure. I had the opportunity to go to D.C. when I was a city council member and got 11 slot with the chief of police. We got 11 slot for public safety. Never seen that again. I have done some in internal investigation also about public safety and I was told that 
our level is going higher and our police officer is living in our city. We need to do something about that. And we need to do it right away. We don't want to become what we used to be, a training center for other city. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's one thing that we used to do. We train police officers and they're not working someplace else. Public safety is one of my main issues. Talking about police officers. My son served as a police officer in Fairfax County in Virginia. I know that for a fact. They go through a lot of things. Our job is to make sure they get the proper equipment for firefighters and police officers. To make sure they go back on to their loved ones. That's one thing that you all do real well. And I commend you for that. And we will continue to do the same thing. But when it comes to public safety, we cannot be a training center anymore. We need to take a step forward. If the citizen grow, guess what grows? Crime. If our crime is high, no, sir, it is not. Yes. Compared to other cities, no, sir, it is not. Our crime is level. You just got to get there and get the police officer better salary and better benefit.